Hey everyone, it's Shakira. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a PR haul. PR meaning everything that I'm going to talk about was sent to me for consideration. Um, and yeah, these contacts were actually sent to me. We'll talk about them in a second. And I know I look like really goth and kind of dead today because that's the look that I'm going for. A goth look. My hair looks crazy too. I just washed this wig and put it on. So that I wouldn't come on camera with nothing on. So anyway, we'll start with these contacts. So these contacts were sent to me by Iris Beauty. And these are, they are, you know, just simply fashion contacts. They're simply, you know, contacts just to um, switch the color of my eyes. They are a little freaky looking, but they go really well with the look that I'm trying to do that I will, that I am going for today, which is scary and goth. And let's see, these are called Midnight Gray. So, oh, okay. So here's what it came in and they're supposed to be sending me some other stuff. So I'm not going to do a review just yet, but these are the only things that came in the mail, but they came in this little box and then you open it and you get the contacts come in here and there that you know they come how all contacts come and then you get a little you know contact holder which is so convenient you know that way you don't have to go out and buy another one if you don't have them but you definitely want to buy your contact solution so yeah so what I will say right now is that after I put them on, they feel just fine on my eyes. Sometimes when I put on contacts, it feels scratchy and it hurts and I got to take it out. It does take me a couple minutes just the blinking to, you know, get it to feel like it's at my actual eye. But I don't know that this is something I would wear out. You know, I feel like they look a little bit scary, <laughs> but you know, beautiful color. And if you don't mind looking this intense, then you will like these contacts. Moving on. These were sent to me by a company called Ozone Factory. Fractured coconut oil, right? Ozonated oil, coconut oil, skin therapy, something or other. Um, and then this one is a hemp seed oil you know hemp is really popular now and they're supposed to be good for like skin conditions and so I well skin conditions and like pain so as we know a lot of people are uh, doing like CBD and hemp stuff and this and that and the third so I've tried the hemp that you put under your tongue one of my friends he sells it and so it's supposed to be good for pain and all that jazz and I don't even want to put this on right now because it smells really strong like watermelon. And my children were like, why does it smell like watermelon? And I just did a couple squirts and I put it on my neck where I have pain sometimes. And I'm telling you, it was really, really strong and intense in terms of the scent. I can't give you a full review in terms of is it, does it help prevent pain or does it help with pain? Um, that day I was really in a lot of pain and I feel like it helped you know, relieve some of the pain, but I like to use things for some time before I, um, you know, give you a full review and say, yeah, you should go pick it up. The next thing they sent me was is, why do I try to do videos without my glasses? Um, this is a coconut oil. Um, that's supposed to be for skin therapy as well. This one, it doesn't smell so great. It just, and they spray out of a little spray thing and it's just like oil. It's not like sticky, but it kind of smells like MCT oil if you have it, you know, it absorbs quickly and it moisturizes, I guess. Um, but again, I just got it. So, you know, I can't really give you a detailed, detailed, detailed review on that. But I'll leave all, you know, information in the description box if you want to check it out. 
The next thing that I got would be these nano pads, nano care pads. These are organic cotton, which ladies, if you are not using organic cotton on your vagina or in your vagina, what are you doing? Or on or around the special places. I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to, I don't want YouTube to strike this video because I said the V word. But yeah, so these are supposed to relieve menstrual discomfort, meaning cramping, which I don't get a whole lot of cramping. I might get a little bit of cramping um, like day one and day two, but typically not um, not anything too bad. So this is actually a multi-pack. We have 18 panty liners, 12 regular pads, and six super pads, so kind of like with the flow of your period. And depending on how old you are, this might last you two months. I say that because as I've gotten older, my periods last like four days, five at the uh, at the max. So you use a couple on your heavy day, you use a couple on your regular day or your days after, and then you use a couple panty liners. So this is what's, um, you know, in there. So let's see. Uh, ultra absorbent, super thin, odor control, extra breathability. So I have not gotten my cycle yet, so I can't really tell you if they are good for, you know, cramping and whatnot. But I always love to try products that are organic pads and stuff like that because, like I said, you should not be putting pesticides on that special area, okay? So I'm going to open up one just to show you all. I'm not going to open it up all the way, but this, I guess, would be our super. I guess this would be our super. And I have heard of companies using like this strip right here, and I'm pretty sure this is what's supposed to absorb any odors. And um, hold on, like some ionizing or something, something that bring that 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 absorbs the odor like a magnet or something but I have to do more research but yes got this as well organic cotton and I'll leave the information for this down below as well and of course I'll have like a full review on this product when my cycle comes okay the thing I have to show you is this Madam Glam um, box they sent me some nail polishes now you might remember they sent me some lipsticks to try and they are vegan, I don't say organic, but vegan, non-toxic, and all that good stuff, um, cruelty-free. And they sent me some gel polishes this time, and so, of course, it came in their pretty little box. I love the pink on the inside of the box, and I got a, like, a, a pink, can't really tell, yeah, it's like a, pink like a nude pink and this is I love this uh, shade and so I'm gonna swatch it actually on the box that way we can see true to cup see if it's sheer because I haven't even tried this out so there it is light pink it's light pink they also sent me Close this back up. They also sent uh, the base and the top coat for these as well, which I won't swatch because it's just clear. But it's the base coat and the top coat. And then I also chose this green called Clover. And can't really swatch it. If I have anything to swatch it, I can't even open it. There we go. So there it is. It's like a military green. So I love I love nudes and neutrals. I'm gonna swatch it over the Madame Glam white on there because then that way we might be able to see it better. There we go. Yes. Sorry, it's my call. Yes, yeah, so there's what that green looks like. 
And they were so nice to send me the actual lamp for the full Madame Glam experience. So that came in there, that little insert. And then here are the tools to do my manicure. And then, if I can get this lamp out, it's this little lamp. So I think I have to plug it up to my computer or something because it has a USB. You know what? And let's do it because I'm on my computer. That was really nice of them because, um, you know, I mean, I actually have a lamp because I have gelish polish. Back when I was a makeup artist and, uh, you know, cater to brides, I used to do nails too. So, what the hell? Okay, I'm confused. So this goes in here. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, that looks crazy. Look. Yeah, so here's a little lamp that um, I will use when I do my manicure. So thank you so much, Madam Glam, and everyone for sending me this stuff. I will, again, okay, so let me just, let me talk to you about that coconut oil that I just used. After the initial smell, it is now gone. It is now completely gone, and I feel really moisturized, actually, so... It might be okay. I just don't like the initial smell at all. So, anyhow, be on the lookout for, you know, all the videos where I'm going to be detailing my experiences with this stuff. If you have any questions, check out the description box. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.